sorry, man, but this is a carjacking. I say, what, what do you think you're doing? Oh, the struggle. Oh, damn it. Uh, the hot dog vendor ah. living 18 people to ah. one of those tiny rooms in Long Beach. Hey, 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 hey. Wire money back to. What a mess. Wherever the fuck you are. Ah. I understand. Ah. Waving it. Feds, I think. They always drive past it this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to <laughs> slay him. Jackasses, all of them, all of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who'll really miss him. Hey! Hey! Is Mr. Pegorino around? Uh, uh, sure. I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm -hmm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry. I I'm s Nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Ah, oh, fuck. So, listen. We got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that at your meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them. Just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an old and a bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner in Acta. Find them, and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. Thank you. That guy works for the Pegorinos. God, they must be desperate. Let's lose him on the way to the meet.
stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Gave some that all that ass Tagarino first. Is there a nice little haul in this for you? All right. Maybe you'll give me. Hey Tommy, check this out. Seven oh seven race. Hey Phil. What? Hey pal, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call for my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous. I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. No, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's a slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, He's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. That'd be. He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico, I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen. There's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. Certain people is gonna assume we're whacked, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get the head? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians, the enchiladas I've been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the dogs. All right, this is the truck. A shitload of coke we're taking. It should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them loaded up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. 
I don't know if anyone would give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked at. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't. And I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something can make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off! Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies.
You handled yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. I can get you.
So, Nicky, you and the peg is getting close, I see. He's got work. He pays. That's about it. Yeah? Well, remember who made the introduction. Remember who brought you in. Don't you forget about me. Maybe you want to pass something up to me. Pay me some tribute. Sorry, Ray. I'm freelance. I don't buy into that tribute stuff. This work has many disadvantages, but, uh, hey, at least it's tax-free. Not you as well! Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Vulcan piece of shit! I'm done with you! Done with everyone! I'll go, but I ain't going quietly! Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about! I came as quickly as I could! Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own! I beat him like he was my own son! When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son! Now this! The world is a cunt! Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean... Jesus, what a chump! <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me. So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him! And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with! Okay. Okay. Don't worry. <sighs> You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, god complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside manner. Terrible. Anyone flatlines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. Cops act all nice when they get shot, but it's Mr. Tough Guy now that they're down the hall with a witness. Patient's back there, Doc. Look after him. Can I have some time alone with my patient? I wanted to stretch my legs anyway. Boss? Peg, is that you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, shit, Nico. You're here to see the boss? It's just this way. Oh, it looks like I messed something up. Sorry about that, Anthony. Tell... Peg. 
I'm sorry. Pedestrian down. Pedestrian's been shot. You ruined the new one. I've got a fist. Everyone down. You're surrounded, asshole. want to die. It's not my goddamn fault. Run! No, you don't, dead. Dead. You don't right even know it yet. I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there neither. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking feds turning everybody into rats. Stay around, Nico. My car! <gasps> I want you to give you something to say thank you for me and Bryce. Well, he doesn't know I'm giving you this, but he gave it to me, so it's technically from him. What is it? This car. Enjoy! I only power walk or take cabs, so I figured I should pass this on to my savior. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Don't mention it. What we've got is worth more than money. A fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port Tudor. The old factory off of Auger Street. The fucking Russians have got to Charlie Matei. They told this top Ancelotti couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how the fuck they knew? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he chops it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the Ancelotti's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this fat Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it. Arrived. All right, 
Now, the way I see it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later. factory off of August Street. Yeah, he live up there. One lesson I've learned, Nico. Assume everyone knows everything. Somehow, Chubby Charlie Mateo has found out it was us who ripped off the Russian cult. He is about to take a chopper into Algonquin to share that knowledge with the commission. You want me to take this fat man out before that happens? If you don't, then it'll be the Pecorinos going to the mattresses with every one of the Liberty City families. Not only is we gonna be looking over our shoulders every two seconds, but we ain't gonna be able to earn. Well, I'll do my best to shove him up there. Great, I gotta go get noticed so I ain't a suspect.
Not so confident that I'm done! Screw you! Killing is going to be fun! We're gonna go, huh? I'm going to be good! Having a good day! Get the fuck down! Great! Your you goose is good! Is your way to try and clip me? I don't give a shit! Now is the time! There is nowhere to run. Smile, my friend! You are dead! You're, You're glad you messed with me! Let us end this like gentlemen, yeah? Don't fuck with me! Call this your fuck. Давай, давай, на меня. Hey asshole, we got you now. What? You don't need to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. No!
Stop! Take me some gas and dry. As soon as I finish, I'm going home to blow some heads and beat up the coochie. Come on, you're driving slower than me, man. Here we are. It's a wrap. Yo! Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughingstock. A cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. You got the big problem then. Me? Uh-uh. We, my friend. We. You stop him. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Can't you see I'm urinating here?
Derek, my brother. Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. This year off of We're going to Bismarck. That much off this is as far as I can go, okay? Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Derek, my brother! Frankie!
Police officer, come on, clear the area, clear the area! Derek, shit! He's my brother! I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? Christ, it happened right in front of me. I could feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and a reputation. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you. And you Go away. That cool? Sounds like I don't have a choice. Okay, where to? To Galveston Avenue. Hey! Okay, okay, friend, here we are. Thank you, Bryce Dawkins. I hope the cash for this didn't come out of city funds. But you can make it right with flowers. Nothing else says sorry I kicked you in the stomach better than flowers. That's right. And right now, all florists in the Liberty City area are having their make it right sale. Nothing says love like a genetically modified plant grown hydroponically and chemically by peasants in Honduras. You may have done wrong. It's time to make it right. Send flowers. A message from your local florist and the Florist Alliance group. Weasel News. Weasel News Terror Alerts brought to you by Weasel Wireless. Who allowed you to help stop terrorism by signing up for a camera phone plan? Many are dead after another shocking shootout at the auto erotic car showroom in West Alderney. Some of the bodies have been identified as associates of the Cavallo crime family. We have taken a number of possible suspects in the case. Hey, Nico. What's up, Mallory? Roman hasn't spoken to you about anything, happening. Nothing about maybe asking me to marry him? I haven't heard anything, but I'm sure it would be a really good thing for both of you. Thanks. And hey, Roman and I decided to be honest with each other last night. He told me about Vlad. He did? Yeah. Thanks for helping him get rid of the body. He had such fire in his heart. I guess when he found out about me and Vlad, he couldn't help himself. His love for me took over and he just had to kill him. That's exactly right. He's an old school romantic. See you soon, Mal. Some residents say they like the mafia. The mafia is so cute on those TV shows. You can really identify with the struggles they go through. I'm, I'm glad this is not my car.
don't want to kill me. Wait, let's talk about this. We're going to mo Eisenberg and them booty cutters, I'd do something special with that. I'm here to see Mr. Gravelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend James Pegorino. I don't know what Spare you're- Spare me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years! <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally <laughs> come to an end? <laughs> I know, it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <laughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, very kind of you. Dude, I gotta tell you about last night. 
you have arrived. You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall, all right? Sure. John, how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. I'm gonna bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is gonna be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. Hold on a minute! No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Take a deep breath, John. That's it. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm gonna go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson! Let's get out of here! to get us to the Civic Citadel. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better... More Russians wanting to kill you. How about that? American gangsters like John Gravelli understand the way life works. They get the limits of their power. In Europe, the politicians are as crooked as the gangsters. They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. 
You are as clean as the driven snow. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show, some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well.